Here I have a graph. And what I want to focus in on is any particular vertex, like say the vertex A. When I look at the vertex A, what I notice is that there are three edges emanating from this particular vertex A. This number three is very important in graph theory, and we are going to define it to be the degree. Uh, that is, we will say that the degree of a particular vertex, like A, is the number of edges that are emanating from that particular vertex. So in this particular case, for the A, I've got a three different edges going out, one to B, another to B, and one over to C. If I look over at B, well, there's five different edges that are leaving from the B. There's three from the C and three more from the D. So this notion of degree is just a way to quantify something pretty important, which is the number of edges that are leaving from any particular vertex. Let's focus on this particular edge, this highlighted one between the B and the C. Well, what happens is that when you add such an edge, it adds plus one to the degree of B, because it's an edge that's leaving from B, and it adds plus one to the degree of C because it's an edge leaving from C. That is, this one edge that we've added has actually gone plus two to the total degree of everything in the graph. So this is a key fact. Every time you add an edge, you add plus two to the sum of the degrees of all the different vertices. And so, therefore, the sum of the degrees of all the vertices has to be an even number. Now, this is going to be very important for us because it says that a whole bunch of different graphs, the ones where the sum of the degrees would be odd, are just not possible to have as graphs. You're going to have to have some edge that starts at a vertex and then ends nowhere and so is not actually a graph. And we can use this to rule out a whole bunch of things. So, for example, consider these two pairs of examples. I've got five people. And among those five people, there's different friendships between them. Some of them are friends and some of them are not friends. And the first question I'm going to ask is, is it possible that everyone in those five people is friends with exactly two other people? Not three, not one, exactly two. Okay, so let me begin with some person called A. Now this person, the rule is that they have to be friends with two other different people. So I'll put two other people that they're friends with. I'll call them B and E. Okay, now let's think about B. Well, B is already friends with A, wants to be friends with one other person. So why don't I go and say that they're friends with someone called C. C's friends with B and maybe one other, how about D? And then D's friends with C, how about one other? Well, E is the natural choice. Uh, this, by the way, is called a cycle, the cycle C5. Uh, it's one where you've got sort of a, arrange them all in a circle and they're all connected exactly once. That's what a cycle is. So we don't necessarily come up with the only answer to this. We might have to investigate whether some other ones are possible. You could pause and try that. But this is one answer, at least, to whether it's possible to make such a graph. And indeed it is. By the way, you can pause and try to figure out, is this the only answer to this problem? Or is there some other graph that would also have everyone being friends with somebody else exactly twice? Okay. What if instead of two people, now it's exactly three people that everyone's friends with? So let's think about A. They're already connected to the B and to the E. Well, why don't I say that they're going to be connected to C as well? So I'm going to come along here and add in one extra connection. So that works. A is connected with three people. Uh, it looks like C is also connected to three people, but what about B? Okay, B will be connected to somebody else. How about B and D could be connected? So then B's got three people and D's got three people. A and C had three people, but what about poor E? I can't connect E to a third person because if I add another connection in here, then one of the other ones is going to go up to four. So it's actually impossible to have the third connection for E, at least the way I have drawn it down. Now, you can pause the video again and see, maybe I've just given some bad choices. Can you think of some way that you can draw this? But it turns out that no matter what you do, it's impossible. And the reason is because of degrees. So if I think about what the sum of the degrees are, is that there's the 5 times the 3 is 15. That is what the sum of the degrees is going to be. And this is an odd number. And this is impossible. So there is no way I can come up with such a graph. And then thinking back to example one, where you had the five people, but you were multiplying by two connections for each people, that was a number 10, and that did not violate our condition. The sum of the degrees was 10, that was perfectly fine, and indeed we were able to come up with such a graph.